Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Hope all of you are well and studying properly at your home. In the previous class, I discussed about narration. Today, in this lesson, you are going to learn more about this topic. So, let's begin today's lesson. Narration In the last class, I discussed up to change of person. Now, I would like to move on an important issue that is made mistake by most of the students. How can we change possessive form, objective form from directive speech to indirect speech? Before going to this rule, let's have a look with some examples. The first example, the teacher said the earth moves around the sun. So here it is the example of a universal truth. The earth moves around the sun. We know that. So the indirect speech, it will be the teacher said that the earth moves around the sun because it will be unchanged for um, universal truth. Okay. Now let's have a look in second example. Rohima said, I am wasting time. So here Rohima said that she was wasting time. It will be in indirect speech. Okay. Then here, just look at the reported speech. I am waiting, wasting time. So I is here first person and it will follow the uh, subject of the subject of reporting verb. So here Rohima is the third person singular number and female person. That's why we should place there she. Rohima said that she was wasting time. So I will follow Rohima and instead of telling Rohima we should place there she. She was wasting time. Third example. He said to me you can do it. Then it will be in indirect speech. He told me that I could do it. You is the second person and it will follow me, the object of reporting, uh, reporting for. So here you will follow me and here me is the objective form of I. So after that you should place must, the subjective form of in case. So here, instead uh, here we should place the subjective form of me. So, in indirect speech, the sentence will be, he told me that I could do it. Now, I am telling the change. Subject, object, possessive. I, me, my, you, you, your, we, us, our. She, her, her, he, him, his, they, them, their, it, it, its. It will be more clear to all of you whenever you will do the practices of it. So, practice makes you more perfect for this issue. Now, change of adverbial phrase. Whenever you convert direct speech to indirect speech, you may get introduced with this adverbial phrase. It happens in direct speech. If you see these phrases in direct speech you will change it in indirect speech in that way like these will be that in indirect speech these those ago before come go the so today that day tomorrow the next day or the following day yesterday the previous day last month the previous month last night the previous night next week the following week you just memorize it. Now you are going to learn how we can change assertive sentence from direct to indirect speech. I already I already have showed before couple of examples to you. And I think that you have filled with more ideas about it. For example, uh, just look at this example. The boy said, I will do it today. In indirect speech, the change will be, the boy said that he would do it that day. So here, today becomes that day that I told you previously. 
you can do it easily or you may follow the structure of it the structure is subject plus say tell told plus object if has any object then you put you should put their object plus that plus subject of reported speech plus verb plus test of the verse so you can do it very easily by this way Shumi said to Ruma, I am ill. In, in, in indirect speech, it will be, Shumi told Ruma that she was ill. Here, I will follow Shumi. So, here, the first thing will be she. And it is, I am ill is here, present indefinite tense. That's why I am telling it about, mm -hmm. it will be past indefinite tense. So, the change will be, Shumi told Ruma that she was ill. Then, Mita said to her mother, I finished my HW. The indirect speech will be, Mita told her mother that she had finished her HW. Here, my has become her. Now, interrogative sentence. In interrogative sentence, you will find two types of sentences. In one sentence, the reported speech will begin with auxiliary verb, and in another case, you will find that the reported speech will start with WS question. Now, I would like to move on my discussion. Now, uh, discussion the reported speech that will start with auxiliary verb okay we need to follow the structure that i have i have um, i have written on the screen or on the paper just follow it at first you need to put subject plus ask or inquire of plus object if has plus if or whether plus subject of reported speech, plus part, plus rest of the parts. For example, she asked me, are you happy? Indirect speech will be, she asked me if I was happy. So, how can we do it? Just look at the example. She asked me, are you happy? Before doing or uh, before solving this issue, issue, just think it as assertive sentence. What, what will be the assertive sentence of this interrogative sentence? She asked me, you are happy. So, it is the present tense. How can we change it? In uh, this reported speech is in present tense. Then in interest speech, it will be past tense. Okay. So, you are happy will be, I was happy. Okay. So, the only change here is here will be in reporting verb now we can say for interrogative sentence you must need to place reporting verb as asked or inquire of so the reporting reporting verb will be asked or inquire of she asked me if i was happy so now if you find that there uh, there the reported speech has started with auxiliary verb then you must follow uh, follow here then you must write here if so it will be if okay according to my rule at first subject here she then asked that i have written asked then object here me then if because it is with a ws question plus then subject you is the second person and it will follow me and me will be i here i is the subjective form i then sub then the verb verb is here was i was happy rest of the parts in that way we can solve it for more clearance just look at the second example ranu asked her sister did you go there yesterday then here ranu asked her sister there will be must asked so ranu asked her sister 
here the reported speech has started with auxiliary verb that's why we should place here if okay ranu asked her sister if you becomes she and just think it as assertive sentence you went there yesterday so it is past indefinite tense and in case of past indefinite tense we will place here past perfect tense so if she had gone there the previous day yesterday be has become the previous day so the change will be ranu at first subject then asked her sister object plus if if then you has become she then the tense change had gone there yesterday will be the previous day i think it is clear to all of you now what about the reported speech that starts with w question the structure will be at first subject plus ask or whether plus object if as plus interrogative pronoun or interrogative adverb plus subject of reported speech plus verb plus test of the parts now let's have an example then it will be clear the old man said to the boy what do you want so here the reported speech has started with what so in case of what the w question will be no changed so here the indirect speech will be the old man asked the boy what he wanted here the reported speech is in present tense so in indirect speech the tense will be past indefinite tense next example kamal said to you what is your name then the indirect speech the change will be kamal asked you what will remain what what your name was just think of it that don't keep it in indirect speech as interrogative sentence just make it as assertive sentence in interrogative in indirect speech okay the third one ex the third example my mother said to me where are you going today my mother asked me where will be where and it will remain unchanged that i have told you before where i was going that day so here present continuous continuous tense will be past continuous tense and today will be that day so the change will be my mother asked me where i was going that day so that's all for today dear students one thing is to say you that in your half yearly you need to know only the change of assertive and interrogative sentence not forget to practice from your grammar builder book as well and from your uh, egc book so till then happy reading allah hafiz